got to see what you see You are doing a great work in me I've decided I can't stand still No, you have given me purpose Oh, my, all my heart is yours Oh, my, all my life is yours I will, I will make a move for you Finally, Neptune. Perfect. A complete size comparison model of the planets made entirely out of food. It took hours, but it was worth it. Mm. That is beautiful work, Brandon. Mm. You know, I've always liked Jupiter, but I had no idea it was so delicious. Come on. What? Jupiter. Ah, Neptune! Ow! Welcome to the So and So Show! I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And we're here to. Get, Get it, it done. done! That's right, no more episodes of us meandering around, having no clue what's coming next. Yeah, as much fun as it is to watch us smack ourselves in the face repeatedly until something funny happens, <laughs> those days are over. Right. Yeah, we've got something new. A cue board! Woo! Isn't it beautiful with this puppy? We will no longer get distracted and run down some weird and ridiculous rabbit hole. <laughs> hey, can you imagine a puppy running down a rabbit hole? That would we be so will cute, stay focused and on task oh. so we can get, get it done! done. Oh. oh! What is that? I don't know. I think. Oh, it's an emergency alert no notification. My bad. My bad. No, wait, aren't you going to read it? Well, we're in the middle of a show. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it could be something important. Oh, okay. Emergency weather alert. <gasps> Tornadoes. No! A comet has been spotted that is potentially headed directly to hit planet Earth! Oh no, when? In the year 2332. Oh. Huh. Oh. 
You gotta be kidding me. What kind of notification is that? Maybe they just wanted us to, you know, have plenty of heads up. I'd say so. Let's get back to the board. Oh, yeah. So, we did the funny opening. Okay. Now we just have to... Oh! Oh! What is it? Sorry, man, another emergency. Oh, no. Oh, no. Redheads are going extinct. Why? They say less babies are born with red hair every year. (sighs) Except that it's improbable that they will ever go completely extinct, so. (laughs) Nothing to be worried about. What? Let's play a game. Uh, Okay, right. It's time to play a game called Bowls Up. So how do we play this game? I'm glad you asked. Your challenge is to answer as many trivia questions as you can while balancing a bowl of spaghetti on your head. Spaghetti? On our heads? If your opponent gets a question right, you have to ladle sauce on your spaghetti while it's still on your head. What? Ready? Bowls up. Ah! What now? Pollen alert. The pollen count is one. The pollen count is one. How is that an emergency? Better safe than sorry, man. Put the spaghetti on your head. We're ready. Question one. What are Saturn's rings made of? Ice and rock. Correct. Sauce it up. Oh, man. Oh. Ah. oh! Silence your phone! And miss out on the latest... What? What? My mom just liked one of my photos. John, seriously, your phone is being... Question started. two! Oh. Oh. What is the name of the North Star? Uh, Polaris. Correct! Sauce it up. <laughs> ah. oh. are, are you doing this on purpose? I am not. Got to get my steps in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, hundred, six, five thousand. <laughs> All right. Done. Oh, give me that. No, no, give it to me. No, give it to me. Question three. No. What lies in between Mars and Jupiter? Uh, the main, ah, the main asteroid belt. That is correct. John wins. Aren't you gonna sauce? Fine. Sorry about all the alarms from my phone, Brandon. It's fine. You know what? Oh, thank you. I shouldn't let stuff like that distract me. It's all so unimportant. <laughs> Wait, what was that last alarm for? Oh, oh! It's Bible story time with Kella! Ah! Hey guys! Ooh, nice cue board. We thought it might help us get get it it done. done. I'm guessing it hasn't gone well. We keep getting distracted. I get it. Taking initiative and seeing something through to the end, it can be tough. But you have a Bible story that might help? I do, and it has to do with Nehemiah and his people rebuilding the wall around Jerusalem. I'm going to need some help, though. Are you guys up for it? You bet. And how? Then let's have a little fun with Human Head Puppet Theater! Yeah! The walls of Jerusalem were burned and broken. So, Nehemiah took the initiative to gather some people together to repair them. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Yeah, yeah, you tell them, Nehemiah. You tell them what we're going to (laughs) do. Yeah, okay, thanks. Uh, We got lots of work to do. We are going to repair this wall. God will be with us. That's right. You tell him, Nehemiah. I, I, I am telling him. Okay, you keep doing it. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah. He said, yeah. Nehemiah had a plan to rebuild the wall, and the people were motivated to help get it done. But not everyone around Jerusalem was excited for this new wall, especially a guy from nearby Samaria named Sanballat. What does this guy think he is? He waltzes in here like he owns the joint. No respect. No, he thinks he's going to rebuild the walls. There's not going to be some sort of retribution. (laughs) Don't make me laugh. I don't like to laugh. Isn't that right, Tobiah? Huh? 
Isn't that right, Giddy? <laughs> First, Sanballat did have a friend named Tobiah, but he was not a cat. Second, I think it is safe to say Sanballat was a scary dude, and he did not like Nehemiah. And when the news got back to Nehemiah that Sanballat didn't like him repairing the wall, it did not change Nehemiah's mind one bit. So apparently, Sanballat and his guys don't like us and don't like what we're trying to do. <laughs> Sanballat, Sanballat. That's right. They expect us to be shaking in our boots like this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but we ain't gonna do it. No, we ain't. No, we've already built half this wall and there ain't nothing stopping us from finishing it. No. <laughs> ha! When he heard how quickly the wall was being built, Sandballot was very, very angry. I'm not a happy man. And when I'm not happy, I like to play the violin. Gets my mind off things. But if Nehemiah keeps repairing that wall, we'll go to war. And I'll bring the violin. Hmm? Yeah, no, Sanballat did not play the violin, but he did want to fight. The people were constantly turning to God for help, and they continued to work. Half the people held spears and shields to protect themselves from attack, while the other half worked on the wall. Some even worked with one hand and held a weapon in the other. Listen, I know you're tired and you're scared, Hey, but the Lord is great and powerful. He will fight for us. We got nothing to fear. Huh. I think I'd feel better if I had some water. Oh, here you go. Is that better? Much. Good. God was with the people, and they weren't attacked. They were almost finished rebuilding the wall when Sandballot got desperate. We don't like this Nehemiah, do we, Tobiah? No. He thinks this thing is over. It ain't over. I'm going to invite Nehemiah to have a talk. It's hard to do air quotes with this hand, tiny hands. <laughs> when I say talk, I mean I'm going to invite Nehemiah to... <laughs> I'm going to make him an offer that he might find reasonable. Kind of like you, right, Tobiah and sardines. Tobiah, you never say no to sardines, do you? You like those sardines. So Sanballat sent Nehemiah a message to arrange a meeting where they could talk. But Nehemiah, he saw straight through it. I ain't going. You tell Sanballat that I'm working on a huge project, so I can't get away. This is important work. We're gonna finish this wall. Yeah, who's shaking now, Sam? Yeah, he's shaking ah, now. Ah, Whoa. Ah. Whoa. No matter what Sanballat threw at Nehemiah, Nehemiah didn't falter. He saw what needed to be done, and he did it. He didn't get distracted because he understood how important the job was. The end. What do you think, fellas? I don't know if I could have kept building the wall with all those distractions around me. Me neither. Yeah, but sometimes it helps to remind myself that what I'm doing is important. What we're doing is important, John. Right, Kellen? Definitely. Sometimes it's a little silly, but we get the job done. Now, if you'll excuse me. Guess it's time to reveal the question. What distracts you from doing what needs to be done? Hmm. Obviously, phones are a big distraction. I gotta put you on silent. Thank you. Silent. Silent. And I've got to quit letting things that don't matter get in the way of doing what's important. What about you? What distracts you from doing what needs to be done? Hey, 
Hey, hey, we did it. We did it. We got through the show. All right. Ah, yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Now we just need to prep for next week. Well then, let's get, get it done. done. See you next week on the So and So Show. Hi. Okay. What? How do you want to start? Next I don't week? know. I, well, what do we got? What do we got? What, what are we the got? We got. To, we can do the funny opening. Okay. Do the funny opening. All right. That's usually a good way to start. Yeah. Usually funny's <laughs> good. All right. Funny is good. Um, let's see. Uh, do someone oh, who, yeah. Someone who knows stuff about horses. Oh, that would be super. Yeah, that goes great or, with. Or we could have, you know, Mr. Ed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a talking horse would be we perfect. We could get it straight from the, you know, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Ed's mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's different. Yeah. They'll never see it coming. No, they and won't. And it will leave them wanting more. That's, oh, that's right. The age old theater trope. Leave them wanting more. That's right. Is it a trope or is it a saying? It's an adage. Ah, mm. what we're doing with the horses. 